three, two, one. Here we go. Omen Man would definitely fit in my top 10 or even in my top five. I once made the audacious claim that every man needs to have a Ventus in their perfume cabinet. The second audacious claim, and that is its companion, should be Ormond Man. I remember the first time that I smelt it, I just instantly knew that this was a fragrance that I know that I would enjoy. For me, the hook is in that opening. On first spray, this is a spicy conifer, bright woods. It's inviting. I feel like I've been instantly just put into a forest. This is an all year fragrance for me. Beautiful, awesome longevity on it. I would get comfortably six to seven hours. Has great sillage on it. It goes into a, a moderate, nice push on, on the actual fragrance. So on that opening, you're getting that wonderful pink pepper. And for me, that pink pepper does play all the way through. Then it goes into more uh, bright woods, cedar, conifer style, and then it dries down into a more deeper woods. The Ormond Jane house likes to use unusual raw materials. Now, if you research black hemlock, so go to Fragrantica, you'll find that there's only five fragrances that actually use black hemlock in their ingredients, and three of those are from Ormond Jane. Black hemlock is poisonous. That's, that's why there's only five fragrances out there. I was able to join a masterclass and she mentioned that the reason why she wanted to use black hemlock within her fragrance is that she found that it had a robust depth to the actual scent. Ormond Man, strongly recommended, absolutely phenomenal. Ladies, if you are interested in this, know that there is an Ormond Woman. So it's a little bit more floral, a little bit more feminine leaning, but your man could be wearing Almond Man and, and you could be wearing Almond Woman, but I'm thinking you guys will smell amazing. Thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next episode.